today we are going to open the WEM3 on local development and also uh, differentiate between the canister where the fronted is hosted and the bucket is hosted. So let's get started. Let's open the VS Code and uh, in this VS Code we did this uh, project which we called it the IC one is not here you can come here you can come here to open folder when you come here uh, it is here I see one projects if you go more you can see exactly the folder which is this one the uppermost which is running with WSL Ubuntu so you can click that one and when you click that one you can see now uh, it is uh, including our M3 now as we did we can come here and we go new terminal and uh, you see this one it's I see one project but we are how to send the the hub our application so we can change directory by typing CD and we do web3 and when we change direction we hit end and therefore we can use dfx to start our we can do dfx start And this is starting the uh, application locally. So uh, it is now uh, done. We can come here. We, we split the terminal and then we do DFX deploy. DFX deploy. Then we it and a key like that wait for a few minutes and yes now we the main thing of today was to differentiate between the front end and back end as you can see this one is front end canister via browser and this one is back end canister via cardin candidate interface so you can choose either of these and when you come here and you expand this you see source this one you can expand it more and uh, within the source you can also see we have the backend and the front end so uh, when the backend you can see we have hosting the main which is the backend Matoko language or Matoko programming language it is like that we shall deal with this in details and even when you come to front end we have assets you can expand also and in asset we have these uh, IC asset JSON5 Pathcon ICO logo remember this logo these are all defaults that have come uh, with the Motoko with the backend this one so uh, we have uh, also we have uh, CSS you can open CSS and see it's actually the web 2 uh, it is actually organized is web 2 then we have source 
you can also extend to see the index and js so the index this one is the index uh, which is html5 exactly it, it, it is and lastly we have java script js and this is js and uh, it is get document or get element by this uh, actually the javascript so we are going to discuss everything here in the future today i wanted you to see the difference between uh, backend and frontend for finding up for actually uh winding up everything we can now look at this and we can control the windows we can hit control button and hover here then we click then we click and we see that we have click this is locally how it is come you can type here uh m3 m3 come and come and type m3 developers or m3 devs and then you click here you see hello web3 devs now we can go back here and see the backend now this is now the backend the same case applies you control in windows you press down control key and then you click on this highlighted link like that and that is backend and it's going to open like this so you can text here but this one is also mostly for backend not front end so you can actually say 666 uh now use that one let's say uh backend and your query and you see hello backend the same 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 and you can see up the hand here it is same thing now this is how uh, what i wanted you to know today and uh, next time when we meet we shall discuss more about backend and we shall actually write some code using motoko let's meet then thank you